The landing will come alive next weekend for a day of family friendly festivities. Weather the Fort is making its return to downtown Fort Wayne. Joining me this morning with downtown Fort Wayne is Preston Wallace. Preston, good morning. Good How morning. are you? Doing well. All right, so Weather the Fort has kind of changed over the last year with downtown Fort Wayne taking over last year. But what is the event? Yes, yeah, so this is the ninth season in total. Uh, but yeah, our second year running it as an organization with downtown Fort Wayne. So basically, it's an outdoor event that's just really embracing and celebrating the winter weather and the colder seasons here in Indiana. Um, it's a really good opportunity and excuse to get out, uh, come together as a community, uh, imbibe, uh, see some really great art, uh, live music, uh, and really just kind of lean into the arts and culture all that we're con continuing to pour into here heavily in uh, Northeast Indiana. So we're really excited about that this year. So if somebody comes comes out, what can they expect to see? So the event kicks off at 3 p.m. Uh, next Saturday, the 17th. It's going to run all the way up until 8 p.m. So we've got a full list of uh, all of our different events and things that are going to be taking place throughout that time frame. Uh, but we've got two different bands. We've got the Bee Colony and the Wall and Road Band. Uh, so kind of a nice variety of genres that are going to be offered. Uh, we're also going to have some ice carving, uh, like sculptures taking place. We've got some interactive art with some rock painting for the kids. Um, we've got Anna and Kristoff from Frozen will be out there. So that's always popular uh, and draws a nice crowd. So make sure you bring your kids out to enjoy that, get your photo uh, taken as well. Um, outside of that, we've got some really great vendors uh, taking place as well. So Dana's and Night Train are going to be kind of teasing their new brands on the landing. Uh, and with that, they're going to be serving drinks. So we've got a variety of uh, craft local beers, which is what the event has been um, classically known for. But we're also adding in some great cocktails this year, hot mold wine. Um, there's going to be some non-alcoholic beverages as well. Um, and then you can grab food from any of the surrounding businesses on the landing as well. That was going to be my next question. So this is a family friendly event. So what is there specifically for the kiddos? Yeah, so we've got some great uh, photo opportunities. We've got some new props uh, this year. We're also going to have, like they said, the uh, interactive kind of rock painting. Um, Anna and Christoph will be there for that meet and greet. That's between 4 to 6 p.m. on Saturday. Um, so make sure you come out for that, if not anything else. Uh, so it's really enjoyable. A lot of times we'll see the kids kind of dressed up, uh, playing the part, ready to get their picture taken. Um, so we've got that taken place. Outside of that, it's just a really fun atmosphere. Um, you know, it's free, it's open to the public, and you can just come out there and enjoy some really great live music and entertainment as yeah. well. So all you need money for is just any beverages you might want to purchase. Exactly, yep. Preston, thank you so much for stopping by. Weather the Fort is on Saturday, February 17th from 3 until 8 p.m. All the festivities are at the landing in downtown Fort Wayne. Again, that event is free for the whole family. Just bring some cash or cards for any of the beverages. And don't forget, street parking is free on Saturdays as well. We'll have all this information inside the story later today on Wayne.com.